Hey guys, today's Cyberpunk 2077 video will be dedicated to all you Judy and Panam lovers because what I will be walking you through is how to have either Judy or Panam or both chill with you as your own personal companions. Obviously, the game does not have a companion feature built in, so we will have to do a little workaround to make it work. There are two specific missions that we will be using for this workaround, and even though I am not completely ruling out other missions that could possibly give you the same results, I have not found any. Also, I'm not sure if you can do this with River or Carrie. Frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if you managed to do that, but the focus of this particular video will be on Judy and Panam. There are two existing videos I could find that describe how to do this, however, they don't offer the visual or the exact point in each mission you have to walk away to keep Judy and Panam with you. I learned about this cool trick during one of my streams from a subscriber called Swarney, so he deserves the credit here. One last thing before we jump in, giving you a spoiler alert since we will be covering two main missions with Judy and Panam. If you are new to the channel and you end up liking the video, show your support by subscribing so you don't miss out on new content or my upcoming live stream reminders. Also, be sure to check out my social media, as always it's all in the description below. Now depending on your preference, there are three different ways to approach this. You can either only hang out with Judy, or only hang out with Panem, or you can have both. If you only want to hang out with Panem, then skip in the video to the timestamp on the screen. If you want only Judy, or both Judy and Panem, we have to start with Judy's mission first. I try to start with Panem's mission first and then add Judy to the team, but for some reason Panem disappeared when I started Judy's mission so that's why we have to start with Judy. The mission you need to be on is called Disaster Piece. It's part of the whole overarching quest chain to try to find Evelyn Parker. And in this mission you have to call or visit a fixer Wakako on the Jigjit Street. I personally called her but you can go and see her in her office since the next part of the mission is on Jigjit Street as well. V asks Wakako for some brain dance files and literally 10 seconds later after the conversation ends Wakako sends you a pickup location. Then you just need to go to the drop point, pick up the package, and then go around the corner to see Judy who's waiting for you in her van right outside of the JG street. Judy then sets you up with the brain dance using the files you just got from Wakako, and you have to go through the whole brain dance exercise which unlocks the next part of the mission. Then you have a choice to ride with Judy or meet her at the next location, and when you get there, she tells you to go inside and clear the way while she hangs back. So go in, kill everyone in the complex, and then when they're all dead, you want to walk towards the sign Sector Zero, leading downstairs to the lower levels. Once you get on the stairs, you should see that your quest objective updates, and Judy tells you over the phone that she's coming to you. At this point, don't go any further, and just wait for Judy to appear through the wall, and when she does, run out of the facility. From this point, Judy will follow you until you return to complete this mission. She will not join you on a bike, but she will drive with you in a car. I totally hate the first person view driving in this game, but having Judy sitting next to me is definitely a very strong incentive. <laughs> in combat, she's actually pretty useful. Her damage is kinda trash, but she does draw attention of your enemies and she serves as a decent distraction. Also, she can't die, so don't worry about screwing up your mission progress or possible romance future. Now if you want to just hang out with Judy, feel free to continue all the other story missions, the side gigs, NCPD and other exploration activities with her. I even took Judy with me to the motel to have some fun with Meredith. Judy was being a little creep, watching us get nasty through the curtains, but a little jealousy never killed anybody, am I right? If you want Panam to join in on all the fun, you need to be on the Ghost Town mission. That's literally the first mission with Panam after you talk to Rogue in the afterlife. After you talk to Panam, she takes you to the Aldecado camp to check in with her old buddies Mitch and Scorpion. You can see that since we picked up Judy earlier, she's now hanging with us in this mission as well. Mitch and Scorpion tell Panam that they can't help her, but she can borrow some of their equipment. So you follow Pan Am to a tent on the other side of the camp so she can pick up her sniper rifle. You're asked to carry a box with some useful stuff and then you follow her back to her car. 
She then takes you to an abandoned town without electricity, asks you to scan the area, and help her to get some juice back into the generators. Then you just restore the power to the city, go hide on the roof, and wait for the convoy to arrive. When they do arrive later that evening, you turn on the power, kill all the members of the convoy, and find the one that has the keys to Panam's van. After you get the keys, Panam asks you to wait for her in the van, and literally 3 seconds later she comes in to kick you out of the driver's seat. Afterwards, she takes you to a hideout to help her kill Nash. It's the same hideout that later in the game you can go to to get the black hypercar Caliburn. Before she drives you in though, I would recommend saving the game. You're then kicked out of the van right in the middle of a shootout, but what you need to do is to turn around and start running away. It's important not to shoot or engage in the combat whatsoever, or else Panam gets stuck in a combat and you would have to reload the game. Just keep running and what should happen after around 20 seconds or so is you get kicked out of the combat with now both Panam and Judy following you. Again, neither one of them will actually get on a bike with you, but they will both get in the car with you. Yes, both. On top of each other. This is a little glitchy, but it doesn't break the game, so who cares. From this point, they will both follow you, so feel free to explore the city, complete all the gigs and NCPD activities, and when you're done with everything else, you can come back to complete each of their missions to progress further in their storylines. Obviously, as soon as you complete their respective missions, they will stop following you. I found that both of them are amazing companions in high danger missions since they do a decent amount of damage, well especially Panam, and they serve as good body shields and distractions. So that's it guys, that's how you get to chill with both Panam and Judy anywhere you go in the cyberpunk world. If any of you found a way to have River or Carrie follow you like this, then let me know in the comment section below. Have fun hanging out with the girls and if you did enjoy the video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.